that's really, that's one of the things that we work on a lot. And so we spend a lot of time talking to all the government departments and trying to make sure that there's a concerted effort across government because the carbon budgets will only be met, as you say, if there's a concerted effort across government. And we have good engagement with all, with all, the, government with all the government departments. I think one of the things that is important is that government departments which don't hold the primary responsibility for delivering the carbon budgets, i.e. all the government departments except for DEC, that they properly internalize the need to meet those carbon budgets and to make their contribution within the decisions that they are primarily responsible for. And so when CLG, the, the Department for Communities and Local Government, is trying to deliver a very important government policy around housing and around the need for this country to have more housing, that an integral part of how they deliver that is the carbon budgets and their contribution to the carbon budgets. And similarly, when DEFRA is trying to deliver very real ambition around agriculture and food and farming, an integral part of that is how we do that in line with the carbon budgets. And my concern would be that the decisions that are made in those departments don't sufficiently internalize the carbon budget requirements um, and instead focus very much on this is our direct responsibility. And then you're left with DEC trying to hold the ring on the carbon budget targets, which is its primary responsibility and not having enough buy-in from the other government departments. And I think it's important that they increasingly, and that it becomes normal in a course of regular business for government about how within the context of other policy objectives that we have, how do we make sure that we deliver those and take the opportunities that climate change provides? It, you know, they don't know, I don't know, nobody knows what the economy will look like in 2050. The one thing we do know is that the economy in 2050 will not be the same as it was in 1950. And the danger is that they're delivering uh, against an old model and don't grasp the opportunities that tackling climate change and delivering against the carbon budgets will offer.